and welcome to Anne Marie's workshop. My name is Anne Marie and I love to make things with joy. If you like to make things with joy, you have found the right place. Please like, subscribe, and share. Also, thank you for coming back. Okay, today is my catch up on my cleanup. Um, in my last video, I stated that I was gonna use the months of November uh, through to December to go through these buckets I have of projects that were cut out and never finished. And so I have been reaching my hand and pulling out a bag without judgment, without looking what's in it, because I think all of these projects have some little thing that, some little inconvenience that is keeping me from finishing them. So let me show you what I did since last week. Now, the first thing I worked on was Simplicity 8979. I do believe it might still be in the catalog spoiler um some of these things that i'm working on in my uh cleanup um video are maybe so old that you might not be able to find the um pattern but i will check on ebay and and, and uh, leave a little note in the description box if there's something that you can't find but this is simplicity 8979 and i made this dress now many of you have seen this fabric before but I think it came out so lovely. I think this is the peach version of it. Uh, I don't know how far out I can go, but I really love this dress. And I had some help from my Friday night sewing uh, Zoom group. Um, I had bought a pale yellow cotton to go underneath here. It just didn't, uh, it just didn't look right. So when I pulled the bag out, I saw that all I had cut out was the sheer overlay. But when I was in Montego, um, Montego Bay in September, I had bought several pieces of fabric on the clearance section. And one of them was this Chatung-like champagne colored uh, material. And I think this was gonna be really lovely for my uh, daughter. I think um, it's gonna be really, really sweet. Okay, so I had a little leftover. So I must have been in a cutting out frenzy and I'll show you what else I cut out. All right, so this is a little bag. I thought it was gonna be like a clutch, but it's not. It seems it's a bag that you can put these pieces of lingerie in. All right, so this is Butterick 6042. And sometimes when I cut something out, this was not long ago, cause I just got this uh, fabric. When you cut something out, um, you might not remember what your motivation was. So I kind of thought this was a clutch, but it seems kind of big. <laughs> so I think um, it'd be a lovely thing to put lingerie in. It'll be a nice gift. And it closes with a zipper, so I with the Velcro thing. So I don't think it's a hand clutch. Or I guess half, we'll see, we'll see. Another thing that came in, I had wanted a fan to go with my Lady Danbury Bridgerton Regency dress. And my fan came in and I had this material left over from this uh, dress over here. And I had this beautiful um, tassel when I was trying to find tassels to match my Bridgerton outfit. So I used the um, material that was on the fan as a um as a guide or as a pattern and cut out some of the scrap fabric that i had this crazy furry kind of fabric and i think it's very very nice and it'd be nice to have in the hand when one day i finally wear that costume okay so my next make is this tote bag that i love that has pockets on the inside and I love this pattern. I will find a copy of, I don't know where the envelope is y'all. I really don't. <laughs> if I knew where the envelope is, because it had wonderful bags. It had this tote, it had a hand, and it had a barrel bag. If As soon as I find it, I will insert it. Yay, I found it. It is Cynthia Rowley's 2350. Now I have made this bag before and that this is the um, bag that I just showed you. And they also give you a actual clutch bag. <laughs> so um, 
it's good for scrap piece of um, fabric. This is from a couch upholstery. Some green from a pair of pants. This is ribbon left over. This is webbing left over from some girls' bags that I did for charity. So I really, really like how it came out. All right. And I've also had time to do a little hand beading. So it's been a fun week so far. I'm going to go upstairs or maybe tomorrow and I'm going to put my hand in the bucket and pull something else out. I'm not even halfway through one bucket, but I sure am enjoying it. All right, talk to you soon.